welcome to the channel physics by ideans in this video lecture i shall tell you how to calculate partition function for quantum mechanical systems and this video lecture is exclusively for one of my friend who has requested his exam tomorrow that's why i made his this video to calculate the partition function okay so he has some problem regarding the calculation of partition function and net gate previous papers also you will see this kind of questions are very much occurring frequently okay so i request you to watch this full video for your benefit so the first question we shall discuss it has come in gate paper the question is a system consists of three independent particles localized in space each particle have two energy states one is zero another is e the system is in thermal equilibrium with a heat bath at temperature t calculate its partition function you are given three independent particles and they that those particles can take two energy level either it can take the zeroth energy level or it can occupy the eth energy level so you have two methods for calculating the partition function earlier i have denoted partition function as z here i am denoting partition function as qn which is a function of v and t and it is a canonical ensemble okay it is a canonical ensemble because it is within a thermodynamic equilibrium with the heat bath at temperature t and there is no uh, system is no not in grand canonical ensemble so there is no transfer of particles only transfer of energy is occurring so canonical ensemble the partition function is sum of r gr e to the power minus beta er for discrete systems where gr is the degeneracy of that energy level er okay so q1 that is the partition function for one particle we can write that sum of e to the power minus beta er so er that particle can either take energy zero or it can take energy e so sum of the two energy levels that is 1 into e to the power 0 plus 1 into e to the power minus beta e will give you 1 plus e to the power minus beta e so partition function for the three different system okay so three independent particles here it is it has been written so for one particle it is partition function z for n particle the partition function will be z to the power n so for one particle the partition function is 1 plus e to the power minus beta e for three particles or three independent particles it is 1 plus e to the power minus beta e whole cube okay so a cube plus a plus b whole cube a cube plus b cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square so we get 1 plus e to the power minus 3 beta e plus e to the power minus beta e plus 3 into e to the power minus 2 beta e okay so this also you can uh, find it out by this way this is a method one okay this is the first method so how to find it out by second method for the second method you just take the energy levels and you take the particles and you arrange those particles okay the second method is very much traditional method we do here this is a classical system so no obey of Pauli exclusion principle is occurring here so the energy levels elect particles can take any of the energy levels 0 or e so we are numbering the state as state number energy level or energy state as 0 and e total energy will be the total of energy of the system and degeneracy I will calculate for that energy level first we take the configuration that particle uh, uh, one particle as a b c all sorry three particles a b c all are zeroth level and since these are distinguishable particles or classical particles we are taking this as a b c if it is shown here that it is indistinguishable then we have to take only a a a not a b c okay so these are not identical you have to remember it so energy state the particle e three particles are taking zeroth energy state and e level is empty so total energy is 0 plus 0 plus 0 that is 0 degeneracy is 1 for the second configuration we take a b at the 0th level c 
सी एट द एथ लेवल और बी सी एट द जीरो लेवल ए एट द एथ लेवल और सी एट द जीरो लेवल बी एट द एथ लेवल ओके सो फॉर दिस थ्री कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑल टोटल एनर्जी ऑफ द सिस्टम इज ई सो द सिस्टम एनर्जी स्टेट हैज डिजेनरेसी ऑफ थ्री सो नेक्स्ट वी कैन टेक एन अदर कॉन्फिग्रेशन दैट द वन पार्टिकल एट द जीरो लेवल एंड टू पार्टिकल्स एट द एथ लेवल सो लेटेस्ट टेक ए बी सी accordingly and whenever a at zeroth level b c will be eth level b at zeroth level c a will be eth level c at zeroth level a b will be eth level so here the total energy of the system is 0 plus e plus e that is 2e and the degeneracy of the system that is number of energy levels that are occurring here for the configuration three different configurations we are getting same energy level that's why the degeneracy is 3 now suppose we are taking another configuration that no particle at the ground state but all the three particles at the eth energy level so the total energy of the system is e plus e plus e that is 3e and the degeneracy of the system is 1 so look here the degeneracy for this this system is 1 this system is 3 this one is 3 this one is 1 so we can write the partition function as sum of r gr e to the power minus beta er so it can be written as g1 e to the power minus beta e1 plus g2 e to the power minus beta e2 plus g3 e to the power minus beta e3 plus g4 e to the power minus beta e4 so for we are taking this energy level that is 0 as e1 this one as e2 okay this one as e3 and the last one as e4 and we will calculate we are referring this degeneracy as g1 degeneracy as g2 this one as g3 this one as g4 okay so 1 into e to the power 0 plus 3 into e to the power minus beta e plus 3 into e to the power minus 2 beta e plus 3 into sorry plus e to the power Minus three beta i because the degeneracy is one. So one into e to the power minus three beta i. So calculate it. You will get one plus three e to the power minus beta i plus three e to the power minus two beta i plus e to the power minus three beta i. So both the calculations you will get the same answer. Whether you are calculating one partition function, just take uh, then calculate for the all the three different um, independent particles, or you just calculate it by configuration by uh, taking a look in their configuration okay the next question it is also a conceptual question and it has come in gate examination the partition function of a single gas molecule is z alpha the partition function of n such non interacting gas molecule is z alpha to the power n by n factorial z alpha to the power n n z alpha z alpha to the power n by n i have already mentioned this but this question has come in gate exam that's why i have again i am telling you you have to remember that for indistinguishable particle the partition function is z alpha to the power n by n factorial but for distinguishable particle the partition function is z alpha to the power n so if it is written here that the particles are distinguishable that's why we are taking this q1 and we for the par calculating of this partition function of for the three particles we have taken q1 to the power 3 but if this part uh, question it is mentioned that the particles are indistinguishable then you have to take a factorial 3 okay you have to divide it by factorial 3 and then for this method you don't have to write a b c different particles you have to write all the particles as a and then the configuration will be reduced because a a and a it will give you only one configuration here you can distinguish a b b c c a that's why these are giving you three degeneracies or diff three different configurations but whenever you are taking all the particle as a it will lead to one single configuration for this case and for this case also okay so the number of microstates will be reduced okay so understand it i have already discussed this in previous lecture series please watch those like lecture series whenever you are facing any problem ask me i am ready for you to tell the answer 
ओके द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एन एन सिंबल ऑफ क्वांटम हार्मोनिक ऑसिलेटर इज केप्ड एट टेम्परेचर टी दैट इज वन बाय के बी बीटा द पार्टीशन फंक्शन इज हाउ मच आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन बट आई एम अगेन टेलिंग यू वट इज द प्रोसीजर फॉर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ द पार्टीशन फंक्शन ऑफ हार्मोनिक ऑसिलेटर ओके जस्ट अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला दैट इज सम ऑफ आर इ टू द पावर माइनस बीटा ई आर फॉर हार्मोनिक ऑसिलेटर वी कैन राइट एनर्जी एज एन प्लस हाफ एच क्रॉस ओमेगा और एन प्लस हाफ एच न्यू सो यू जस्ट टेक वैल्यूज ऑफ डिफरेंट एन एंड यू expand the summation like e to the power minus beta h cross omega by 2 plus e to the power minus 3 beta 3 by 2 beta h cross omega plus e to the power minus 5 by 2 beta h cross omega for n equals to 0 you will get this term for n equals to 1 you will get this term for n equals to 2 you will get this term and it can sum up to infinity so take common e to the power minus beta h cross omega by 2 you are left with 1 plus e to the power minus beta h cross omega plus e to the power minus 2 beta h cross omega plus uh, uh, another terms so you put the formula of gp series okay that is 1 by 1 minus r where r is this common factor e to the power minus beta h cross omega and here the first one that is is 1 so you get this as 1 by 1 minus e to the power minus beta h cross omega so this is the sum of infinite gp series formula you have to apply here okay so in earlier videos for the calculation of partition function and problem series videos i have detailed i have discussed in details this question next question the partition function for two bose particles each of which can occupy any of the energy level 0 and e what will be the partition function the given number of bose particles are 2 and the number of energy levels are also 2 and you have to calculate the partition function for calculation of partition function apply this formula sum of r gr e to the power minus beta er now you don't know the degeneracies of the system the energy level of the system the unknown values are gr and er for that you have to apply your common sense that what i have to do i have given here two diff energy levels and i have given two particles apply the boson formula boson means they can stay within one energy level there is no um, application of pauli's exclusion principle so the two particles can stay stay at ground state together or the two particles can one at the ground state or zeroth state another at the eth state or the two particle both can stay at eth state so the num here the energy level that is total energy of the system is 0 plus 0 that is 0 here 0 plus e that is e here e plus e that is 2e so all the configurations are simply non degenerate so g1 will be g2 will be g3 will be all will be 1 okay so what you have to write here for g1 take 1 for e to the power minus beta u1 take e to the power 0 Plus g2 e to the power beta e2 means 1 into e to the power minus beta e. Plus g3 e to the power minus beta e3 means 1 into e to the power minus 2 beta e. So here for e3 you take this value. For e2 you take this value. For e1 you take this value. So all are given here in this formula also. So just calculate it. Rest of the things are same. So the calculation gives you one plus e to the power minus beta e plus e to the power minus two beta e. So option two is the correct option. Okay. So look here, how much simple is that? For both particles, it has been written here. But if it is for Maxwell distribution or Maxwell classical particle, don't treat it indistinguishable. They are distinguishable. Then you have to label it as A or B. And if the particles are suppose fermions okay then you cannot take this configuration only you have to consider this one so these are the common senses you have to apply whenever you are calculating the partition function for quantum mechanical system okay mind it suppose we are taking this is your homework question that consider a system of two identical particles which may occupy any of the three levels and the lowest energy state If epsilon zero equals to zero is the doubly degenerate state. What will be the partition for the classical 
particles what will be the par uh, what will be the partition function for the fermions this is your homework please do this i repeat the question that there are three energy levels but the ground energy level or the lowest energy level has a degeneracy of 2 that is doubly degenerate system so you have to calculate the partition function for two identical particles one for the classical particles that are distinguishable another for the fermions okay i request you to calculate this and answer in the comment section so here you can evaluate your performance by joining our test series and this is a very important for your msc entrances and phd entrances and you can get free test series if you register our website and that will be also given in the description box okay so thank you for your cooperation we hope you value our time and efforts and help the needy students too because we believe the sharing of knowledge is the best way of helping the society so thank you so much don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to the channel and also subscribe our telegram channel for regular quizzes and research updates thank you so much